Lesson 11.1c, Writing an Equation and Checking Solutions. We can substitute a given value for the variable in a real-world equation to see if that given value makes sense for the situation. And we can check the solution to see if the given value makes the equation true. We learned in video 11.1a that a question mark above an equal sign that is written after a value that's been substituted for a variable indicates that we're not sure if the equation is true or false. We have 17n is equal to 136. If we substitute an 8 there and we're not sure if this is true or false, we write a question mark above the equal sign. And remember, we can make a model or a quick drawing to help us organize the information to write the equation. We learned that in the last video, 11.1b, and these are linked in the description. Bob drove 37 miles. Now he has 15 miles left to drive to get to his destination. Write an equation to represent this situation and use the equation to determine whether he'll drive a total of 52 or 48 miles. We write a word equation based on the information. Here's our model. Here's the total miles. And we're going to subtract the miles he's driven so far. And that's going to equal how many miles there's left to drive. We're going to rewrite using a variable for the unknown quantity. So we're going to let t equal total. So we have the total miles, t, minus the 37 miles he's driven. And that's equal to 15. We can substitute 52 and 48 for t to see which equation is true. 52 minus 37 is equal to 15. We're not sure, so we have an equal sign with a question mark over the top. And we can do 52 minus 37. It is equal to 15. Over here, we have 48 minus 37. Is that equal to 15? We have a question mark over the equal sign. Well, that's equal to 11. Is 11 equal to 15? Hmm. So we see that Bob will drive a total of 52 miles, and we can see that this makes the equation true. The 52 makes the equation true. And we can double check it. We can add 37 plus 15, which is equal to 52, so we know we have it right. Addition and subtraction are opposite operations that undo each other. This means we can use subtraction to check our addition and addition to check our subtraction. And multiplication and division are opposite operations that undo each other. This means we can use division to check our multiplication and multiplication to check our division. Sarah sells her homemade necklaces for $24 each. On Saturday, she sold $336 worth of necklaces. Write an equation to represent this situation and use the equation to determine whether Sarah sold 12 or 14 necklaces. We have the price per necklace the times the number that she sold is going to equal the total amount of income she made, the $336. We've got 24, because that's the price for each, times some number n is equal to 336. Now we substitute 12 and 14 to see which equation is true. We have 24 times 12. Is that equal to 336? We have our equal sign with a question mark over it saying we're not sure if this is true. We can do 24 times 12 and we see it's 288. Is 288 equal to 336? No. So this is a false statement. 24 times 14, is that equal to 336? We do 24 times 14, and yes, it is equal to 336. We have 336 is equal to 336. Yes, this is true. So we know Sarah sold 14 necklaces. And we can double check our math by doing division. We can divide 336 by 24, and if we get 14, we know we did our math correctly. Tala is one-sixth the age of her grandmother, who is 72 years old. Write an equation to determine if Tala is 12 or 14 years old. So we can draw a real quick model and think, well, she's one-sixth the age of her grandmother. We can make a rectangle 
and split it into six parts, she's one-sixth of that. And the entire length would be the grandmother's age, the 72 years old. That means six times Tala's age is going to equal the grandmother's age, because we have six of them. We can substitute 12. Six times 12, is that equal to 72? Well, six times 12 is 72. This is a true statement here. If we substitute 14, 6 times 14 is 84. So this is a false statement. So we know Tala is 12 years old. And we can double check. 72 divided by 6 is equal to 12. An equation containing a variable is only true when the correct solution is substituted for the variable. We have 4y is equal to 32. If we let y equal 7, 4 times 7 is 28, so that's a false statement. If we let y equals 8, 4 times 8 is 32. Yes, that's true. And 32 divided by 4 is equal to 8, so we know we did the math correctly. So this equation is true when y is equal to 8. If the final statement is true, the number is a solution. So we're finished with the third part of this lesson. We're going to be going on to the fourth part, which is in the going further section, 11.1d, expressions and equations, vocabulary and understanding and expression. I hope you have a nice day, and I hope you'll join me for next time. Bye.